Hey, this is Josh for Retool.net, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about one of the new features in the new version of Premiere, and that is the duplicate frame indicators. So basically what that means, if you're coming from Final Cut 7, you'll be familiar with this feature. Basically means you might be doing an edit and have a lot of B-roll that you're using and using it to illustrate your point across your cut. And in previous versions of Premiere, what might happen is you'd use the same clip or portion of a clip and not even know it because it was separated by several minutes in your edit and you didn't realize until a late stage in your edit. So what they've added here is duplicate frame indicators. You'll see that I have these three clips here and this fourth one, which is actually just a copy of part of this clip. So what I'm gonna do by default, I'm not seeing my duplicate frame indicators, but all I have to do is come over here, click on the timeline display settings and hit show duplicate frame markers and you'll see the portion of the clip that is duplicated will show up with this little line under it and you'll see this whole clip has that line under it because it's all duplicated in this clip and this clip the end of it is fine because it's not being used over here but the beginning of it has this duplicate frame marker so if I were to say ripple edit that so the duplicate is gone you'll see no more duplicate frame indicators if I were to ripple it back out I have the indicators and same thing here and basically it's a quick and easy way to tell if you're using the same clip more than once and I think it'll be a very welcome addition to any users coming over from Final Cut 7 and I think even longtime Premiere Pro users will really enjoy this one.